So I have in front of me the JDS MAP 200. We have actually two models. We have the MAP 230, which is a smaller portable model with three slots on the side. Then we have the MAP 280, which has uh, eight slots. Um, the advantage of the, the eight slot system is that you can fit uh, many more modules and higher port counts for, say, multi, uh, multi channel connectors, MT 12s, 24s, so on and so forth. Um, what we're going to concentrate on today is the MAP 230 that I have in front of me set up. And we're going to review how to test a suplex cable assembly. I already have my master test lead um, hooked up to the, the output of my MAP 230. And basically what I'm going to do is reference out my cable assembly to get a zero reference power. So what you're not going to see what's going on here is basically I have the same module on the side. So I'm basically plugging in my master test jumper to the detector. Yeah, I'm going to reference the power out <clears throat> to get a zero reference. I do have selected uh, two wavelengths, 1300 and 1550, which are typical for single mode testing. So now that I do have my power zeroed, I'm ready to test my device under test. So I have another FCAPC jumper here. Basically what I do, what I want to do always in between matings is clean the two mating ends. So I'll clean my master test jumper and both sides my test jumper, device under test. So with my mating sleeve, I'll connect the first side. And this is a single-ended measurement. I'm only measuring one side of the jumper, this connected uh, mated pair. Connect the far end of my DUT to the detector and simply hit the start button. It takes about uh, a second or two to toggle between the two wavelengths and the end result is I should have two insertion loss results, one for 1300, one for 1550, and two return loss results, again for 1300 and 1550. So basically to test the other side of the jumper, or just flip it around and repeat the measurement. So the nice feature about the MAP200 is that it does have a graphical user interface or a GUI which allows us to illustrate to the operator the many different test configurations that you may have in your process. All while storing, automatically storing the data to your local drive or a network drive which can be also printed out to a test report or if you have a label printer you could easily print out uh, using a hotkey. So there may be a few different test configurations uh, so we ask that you please contact Fiber Optic Center in assistance in finding the right setup for you or any additional information you may require for the MAP200.